finally down to the thing that I hate. Wiring. And I'm going to go from this to this. Let's have fun. Barber's nice and snug, sitting where it's supposed to be. Luckily enough, it doesn't get hit right here, which is perfect. But moving on to the throttle. I'm going to try to explain this wiring since it's a little bit simple. I had to place the ignition coil right here instead of right where it should be, which is somewhere up in here center. The spark plug wire can does not reach. It's pretty short. So this is its home for right now. Uh, right now, coming off from the engine, like the wiring, the pink is the only wire that's going straight to the rectifier completely. It is not hooked up to this conjunction, or at least this four-way junction right, right there. Uh, what is hooked up to it is the ground wire going to the ignition coil, yellow wire goes to the engine, straight across to this yellow wire into the rectifier. Um, the ground wire to the ignition switch is also hooked up to this junction, and the red wire will be also hooked up to the battery, so same as this red wire from the ignition switch, which will then complete this whole entire circuit to give me control to turn it on and off. I'm exactly getting 6.43 volts from pretty much the battery all the way to the uh, coil. Off, and then on. So yeah, simplest wiring. Now I gotta do is make a plate or figure out how to clean this all up and stuff it in the frame. All right, here's the final piece. Uh, cut it all out of aluminum, just like that. And luckily enough, there's a little bit of a divot or whatever for the wires to be in there freely and not get pinched. Okay, change things up. Not using this coil, bought a condenser, did not buy this. This came from the other previous owner when I bought it off of him. He roughly had this bike halfway done. I'm trying to finish up the other half, but he bought this off of Amazon. I bought this off of Amazon because these are the two things that I needed in order to get spark and everything to work. Only sparked once and that was it, it was done. After that, rearranging all this wiring and everything, burnt one of the end wires to this thing, ever looking up online and Amazon stuff, Chinese stuff is actually completely crap right now. So don't even use them. I actually had to spend $250 for the OEM condenser and coil. This is what it is. I just took off the Amazon's uh, resistor cap. So yeah, the condenser is now up in here. Everything reaches. It's the OEM one. Let's see if this actually fires up. So fingers crossed. 
Okay, so now that I know that the bike fully runs and my rebuild job was perfect, timing's correct, I just need to work on adjusting the carb now for to get it to idle after kicking. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to be running the rectifier because after it was running and I was trying to test out the wires to the stator over here, I guess my stator is bad and it's not producing any, giving any power back to the rectifier, even then to the battery. Not gonna do that. So how I'm gonna run it is just only using the battery, uh, ground right here to this bolt. And I'm only gonna use one power wire, which is right where the fuse is, to connect it to the coil and condenser, which is, this is the power wire to it, it's up in here. The green wire back here, which is its ground, is connected to this wire over here, which is the points. And that is just basically it. Have that connected, kick it right over, and as you, as we saw, it runs. Now, um, I did try to figure out a way to try to use the switch still, or even in the rectifier. Nothing's working, so I am just going to have to run it like this. I do have a fear of it heating up the... Uh, coil and condenser but I think that's just how it's going to be I even looked up the wiring diagram how things are wired up there's only one fuse and that one fuse is from the battery so might as well trust it and we'll see what happens now the next thing I am going to be doing in the part four is pretty much tidying things up adjusting the back brakes or even then both of the brakes putting on the chain getting this fully sealed up uh designing my own custom seat now for the gas tank up here and whatever else throughout there but this bike is almost done is already fully coming together uh i do hope this helps you guys out at least then if you guys just want to get it running off of just a few small wirings now this is much more simple since it's only like two one two that's it battery kick it starts hopefully if you like and you want to know how i pretty much rebuilt this engine or saw what i did go back to you can go back to part two and that's the full-on rebuild that i did of just doing the top end i'd never even then touch the clutch nor even the transmission because it's okay, no one has even then touched it, they only touched the top, but 